All right, here is a quick live reaction to the Olympic roster drop for the US women's national team. They didn't win in 2016, but they won in 2012. They had a shock upset in 2016, and obviously they want to redeem themselves. They've got a lot of depth, and Blackco has a lot of problems to deal with in terms of what A team to put out, and then the alternates, of course. We found an illegal stream for Good Morning America. We've been here for 45 minutes. It hasn't started yet. <laughs> We've recorded this intro a couple of times already. We're hoping it's gonna happen in another five minutes. But before that, we'll quickly run through our own predictions. Um, having followed them for a while, I don't think it should differ too much. But with the depth that they have and the form and the, the sessions that they've had in camp, we don't really know what's up there. So we might see some surprises as well. So why don't you take us through the goalkeepers that we think are gonna show up? Alyssa Nair is gonna be the number one for sure. And number two is probably going to be Adriana Franch, who is the number three, I think, in the 2019 World Cup. Yeah, the number two in the World Cup was Ashton Harris, so that's someone that we've not really considered as of now. But I think we've considered her, we've considered Jane Campbell, Aubrey Bledsoe is this outside shot as well. But I think being from such a successful Portland Thorn side, we might see Adi Franch uh, in that spot and Ashton as the alternate, but it could very well be reversed as well. Um, moving on to the defenders, Becky and Abby as centre-backs, they're not going anywhere, they are the spine of this team. We have Kelly O'Hara and Crystal Dunn as the full-backs and we reckon Emily Sonnet or Mitch Purse and Tiona Davidson. Yeah. So out of these three, it will be two people who make it as the, the fifth and sixth defenders. I think Tiona is probably locked in Yeah, and, and then between Mitch and Sonnet, it depends. Personal choice is Mitch Purse. <laughs> I so, think it might be Sonic though. Yeah, but let's go with mid since we let's we've go agreed that. Um, midfielders, five to choose from. Mui, Sam and Christy, Lindsay Horan, Rose Lavelle and uh, Julie, I don't think she'll make it. I'm personally hoping for Andy Sullivan, such an outside chance, but if she gets in there, I'll be very happy. And then the other option is Katrina Macario. Who's Ooh. had a, a good stint in Lyon so far. So. Yeah. Again, that's an outside would, shot. No, I'm not emotionally invested in her yet. So then we go then, with Sullivan or who else? Oh, we yeah, quickly. Sullivan, I'd say Sullivan. All right, and then we have five forwards left. Here is the star power, the people who are often on the score sheets, mentioned, most followers, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I think Kristen Press is the first forward. 34 goal contributions in the last 35 games. Incredible. Three women of the match performances in the summer series. There are a couple of games left right now. Second up there, Alex Morgan has been the player of the month in the NWSL for, for May. Really found her touch. I think the fact that the pandemic pushed the Olympics by a year has just, you know, been a blessing. Been a blessing for her. And she's sort of returned the favor saying that, you know, you waited for me and look what I've done. I've come out much stronger. So I, I think that um, she'll make it. She'll sure. make it. She'll make it, no doubt. But I think she'll have a good Olympics. I, um, I'm hoping for that. Yeah. Uh, Lynn Williams, the all time NWSL assist leader. What do you say? I hope she makes it. I'm a personal fan, but I don't know. She's been snubbed quite a bit from the team, I think. She's not a set yet, so let's get to the ones which are for sure there. So we have Kristen, Alex, Megan Rapino is number three. I think that's a lock-in. If Pino is not on the squad, then... I yeah, and now there are two spots left. There are two spots left. Lynn Williams, in my opinion, has to be there. So there's Lynn, there's Carly, and there's hopefully Tobin, who is in contention. She's who hasn't played since much. Feb or March, my yeah. news. So Although Black was been saying she's recovering well. And I think she started training with the team, I'm not sure. But like, being fit and being in form are two different things. So, I'm hoping for number four and number five to be Lynn and Carly, I guess. I think it will be left. Good. I think she'll be back for the last two games. I, I, I really do think so. In July. Yeah, but even all the news sites, they've been predicting Tobin, but no word on June. Carly Lloyd is quite old, but I think with Carly Lloyd's form as well, she made it to the Challenge Cup final. She scored in the Summer Series. She also scored in the Challenge Cup final. I'm going to say Carly Lloyd, although I'm, I would not like love to see her, but if I had to put my money on it, I would say Lynn and Carly is four and five. But I actually think if Tobin is fit, Lynn will be the one to go. No. Because, uh, don't say that. Yeah, I think so. The big upset, which we are not upset by, but people are going to be, is that Ali and Ashton will both probably not be there. Oh yeah, Ali Krieger. Yeah. Paul is one of the incredible women who will be representing the United States of America at the Olympics in oh, Tokyo this well, summer. We're going to reveal who that is in just a minute. But first, for the game's just a month away. We have the honor of revealing the entire 
U.S. women's national team roster right here on GMA. Take a look at these amazing players who will be going for gold. 11 players are returning from the 2016 Olympics, including Julie Ertz, Carly Lloyd, and wait, there's more. 17 are from the 2019 Women's World Cup. Megan Rapino. Alyssa Nair, look at that lineup. But who, TJ, who's that mystery 18th player? Who, who could, who could that be? It is, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Yes, Alex Morgan, two-time Olympian, now headed to her third. Congratulations! So excited oh, for you. Thank you, Robin. And so inside. good to see you. Great to see you as always. You played with a lot of these women. So is, is it coming together? Are you gelling on the field? We're feeling really good. You know, obviously we had some time off, mm -hmm. which was forced because of the pandemic, but I'm not going to lie. We could have used some time away from each other. We spent <laughs> a lot of time with each other. So um, I think now we're really motivated. Um, the roster is set. And so all eyes are on Tokyo now. But how's it going to be? Because there could not be any U.S. fans. Mm -hmm. There could only be locals that can attend the game. So not having any international it's fan base. Have you all talked about it? How you feel the atmosphere may be different this time, Alex? Yeah, it's going to be different for sure. You know, I initially I thought, oh, like, it's no big deal. We show up, we tune out the fans anyways. But then we've been, you know, playing in front of um, no fans. And then all of a sudden we get a sellout crowd in Austin, as you can see, mm -hmm. um, with that game that's being shown right now. And it was just so electrifying. Like, it was so fun. So we're going to need to, like, kind of rope it back in and um, – and really like motivate each other on the field and hopefully we'll have some fans even if it's um some fans in japan right um you know domestic fans some noise is better than none <laughs> who do you think your your biggest competition will be this time around we'll be i mean when you have 12 teams um in uh, olympics you know in comparison to a world cup where you have double that amount of teams i think it's every single team is going to be difficult but we seem to always find ourselves playing Sweden in every major tournament. Right? So we're starting off the tournament playing Sweden. Um, and last Olympics, they actually kicked us out of Rio. So um, that's going to be a big game. Yes, you have been to the Olympics before. But this is the first time that you're going as a mom. Yeah, you know, just playing for Charlie and being a mom and kind of just being able to show that it's possible to be a mom. I'm I'm actually the 13th mom mm -hmm. um, on the national team. So mm -hmm. I'm here representing mm -hmm. all the future moms mm -hmm. and I'm trying to show that, you know, we can we can do it all as as challenging as it is and um you know you have to figure it out you have to be mom and, and a professional athlete um there's a lot of athletes going to tokyo that um are also fellow mom athletes and i'm excited to catch up with them and and kind of just represent all the moms soccer moms unite all right Alex Morgan. I know. I'm, I'm officially a soccer mom. <laughs> You're officially a no soccer mom. No doubt about that. Oh, no doubt. Hey, thank you so much for allowing us to reveal all your teammates. We're very excited. Very, very excited for you. You take care. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Hope to see you so down the road joy. very soon. Good Alex good Morgan good. here on GMA revealing the Olympic good team. Good. Pinch me. Just love this squad. I know. Oh. This is the 2019 roster cut to 18 people from 23. No, he's just playing it safe. Like, I mean, it won them World Cup in their defense. It's, it's safe, but it does the job. So I think that, yeah, I would have liked to see confidence in Lynn and oh, I feel so Lynn bad Williams. Her. How does she? I, I feel like she just, I don't know what, what else she She's has so to do. She's so likeable also. Like, she just wanted her to be there. She just came in like in the last match, seven minutes. She scored a goal. She's such a good provider. She's so rapid. And you have Tobin and Julie who are great players. Respect to them. Coming out of like a, a long bout of injury. Okay, I just hope that Lynn is at least an alternate. But yeah, that's that's all from this reaction. Um, we've got uh, a nice little chat with Alex Morgan as well. I don't think I can put that in be too much of copyright. But... Um, that was it. We wait one month till the Olympics start and yeah, we'll definitely catch up then for some game reactions and whatnot. So stay safe until then.